Welcome back. In this YouTube video, I'll be going through 10.4 simple trigonometric equations. 10.4 represents chapter 10, section 4 of the Pearson A level maths, pure maths year 1 textbook. Let's have a look at exam style question 1. So for x is more than or equal to 0 degrees but less than or equal to 720 degrees, tan x equal minus square root 3 over 3. Let's proceed with the solution. I'll explain this step by step. So step number 1, we write down the trigonometric equation. Tan x equal minus square root 3 over 3. We circle the value of tan x and we indicate that it is a negative value. Step number 2, we have to work out the first solution for x and we call this the principal solution. So x is obtained by taking tan inverse of minus square root 3 over 3. This gives me x equal minus 30 degrees, the principal solution. Let's move on to step number 3. So in step number three, we have to draw a cost diagram. So here is my cost diagram. In this quadrant, only cosine is positive. In this quadrant, all is positive. In this quadrant, only sine is positive. And in this quadrant, only tan is positive. Now we are solving tan x equal minus square root three over three, for x is more than or equal to zero degrees, but less than or equal to 720 degrees. So if we start at the positive x-axis, and we know that this here is 0 degrees, we have a key fact, and that is going anti-clockwise, you are measuring the positive angles. So 0, this would be 90 degrees, this would be 180 degrees, then we have 270 degrees, followed by 360 degrees. Let's go back to step number 1. We can see that tan x is equal to a negative value. So tan x is negative in the sine quadrant, so we can draw a line there. And it is also negative in the cosine quadrant, so we can draw a line over here. Okay, now let's go back to x equal minus 30 degrees and let's label that on the cast diagram. Starting at 0 degrees, we know that if we go clockwise, we are measuring negative angles. So if that's 0, this part over here would be minus 90. Minus 30 degrees is basically this angle here, the angle until that particular line. So this is minus 30 degrees. The acute angles that we label with the x-axis will be the positive of this. So it will be 30 degrees. So this part over here is 30 and this part over here is 30. Now we are solving tan x equal minus square root 3 over 3 from 0 all the way up until 720. We are only interested in the positive solutions. So starting at 0, let's go anti-clockwise until we arrive at this particular line. That there would be the first positive solution. So we've got x equal, this angle here is 180 take away 30, which is 150. Now let's work out the second positive solution. So starting at 0 degrees, we're going to go anti-clockwise until we arrive at the second line. So that angle there, ladies and gents, will be 360 take away 30. So that would be 330 degrees. We have two more solutions from 0 to 720. The third solution, we start at 0 degrees, we go all the way around 360 plus this angle here. So 360 plus that angle, which is 150. 360 plus 150 is 510 degrees. The final solution is obtained by starting at 0 degrees, go all the way around 360, plus this angle here. So 360 plus the 330, ladies and gents, that is 690. Okay, now we are solving tan x equal minus square root 3 over 3, for x is more than or equal to 0 degrees, but less than or equal to 720 degrees. So we only want the positive solutions from 0 to 720 inclusive. Which means that we're going to reject this solution here, and we only accept these solutions here. So therefore, x is equal 150, 330, 510, and 690. Absolutely beautiful. Ladies and gents, we had a look at the beautiful solutions in exam style question 1. Let's move on to exam style question 2. So for minus 360 degrees is less than x, which is less than 0 degrees, cos x equals 0 0.84. Round your answers to one decimal place. Let's proceed with the solution. I'm going to explain it step by step like I did in exam style question 1. Okay, so step number 1. We have to write down the trigonometric equation. 
So we've got cos x equals 0 0.84. We circle 0 0.84 and we indicate that cos x is a positive value. This is going to be important when we draw the cast diagram. Step number two, we can work out x, the first solution, call the principal solution using our calculator. So x is obtained by taking cos inverse of 0 0.84. So using our calculator, we get that x is equal to 32.9 degrees to one decimal place. This completes step two of the solution. Let's move on to step number three. So in step number three, we have to draw the cost diagram. So here is my cost diagram. In this quadrant, only cosine is positive. In this quadrant, all is positive. In this quadrant, only sine is positive. And ladies and gents, in this quadrant, only tan is positive. Okay, now, let's go back to step number one. We've got that cos x is a positive value. We know that cosine is positive in the all quadrant and in the cosine quadrant. We are solving cos x equals 0 0.84 for minus 360 degrees is less than x, which is less than 0 degrees. So we are looking at negative solutions. So starting with the positive x-axis, 0 degrees here, for the negatives, we are going clockwise. So we've got minus 90 here, minus 180 here, minus 270 here, and minus 360 here. Right, our principal solution is 32.9 degrees. Let's label that on the cast diagram. So we know that if we start at 0 degrees and we go anti-clockwise, we are measuring positive angles. So this angle here, up to that line there, is basically the 32.9 degrees. Now this helps us label the acute angles. So the acute angles with the x-axis are basically 32.9 degrees each. Right, that is my complete cost diagram. Now, I want to solve cos x equals 0 0.84, obtaining these negative solutions. So my focus would now be going clockwise. So starting from 0 degrees going clockwise, okay, up to this first line, we see that this angle would be minus 32.9 degrees, okay, the negative of that acute angle. So the first solution will be x equal minus 32.9 degrees. Now for the second solution, starting at 0 degrees, we need to go clockwise until we arrive at this beautiful line here. So that particular angle will now be minus 360 degrees plus 32.9 degrees. So minus 360 degrees plus 32.9 degrees, it is minus 327.1 degrees. Okay, so we're solving cos x equals 0 0.84 and we are only looking at the negative solutions. So we have to reject this solution here and therefore our final solutions in that particular interval will be minus 32.9 degrees and minus 327.1 degrees. So this completes exam style question two in this teaching video 10.4 simple trigonometric equations. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.